Now, let's look at two scenarios and decide which scenario best reflects the teacher's use of do not model to manage misbehavior. Good morning, class. I'm your substitute teacher for this today. This man not easy. This My man name. just was in our class, so we we teacher. I owe you, sir. First of all, the question is, who are you? From a CM no sale of chat. As a matter of fact, do not interrupt me again. Be quiet. After observing scenario one, do you think that Mr. Crew, as a teacher, used the do not model to address the situation? Given that Mr. Crew attacked the student's character instead of the situation, then it is fair to say the do not model was not utilized in that scenario. Now, Let's look at how Mr. Crew addresses the situation with sane messages to manage misbehavior. Good morning, class. I'm your substitute teacher for today. This man not easy. This My man name. just was in our class, so we we teacher. I owe you, sir. Well, young lady, I was just about to introduce myself. As I was saying. My name is Mr. Crew. I will be your substitute teacher for today because Miss Brown couldn't be here today. And I would really like if I'm not interrupted when I'm speaking. So, moving forward, we will all wait until someone is finished speaking before we choose to speak. Okay, let's move on. That's true enough, sir. I apologize, sir. I am really sorry for interrupting you while you were speaking. In scenario two, we observe the use of congruent communication, the use of I messages, and saying messages to the student. This style of speaking does not attack the student. Instead, it remained harmonious with the feelings being experienced. This approach employed do not model to manage the student's misbehavior, which was the outburst the student made while the teacher was speaking. Created using Powtoon.